All right, McLovin, what's this against the grain that you build up that probably won't live up to the expectations? Exactly. All right. Okay, hit the music. (laughs) Okay, to generate a little interest in the NFL, which obviously needs it, we have come up with a new weekly segment where we're going to reveal rankings, maybe final four rankings for the NFL. See what I'm doing here? Mm. Hello? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give him some love. Why do you do that? You already decided it's not going to be good. Now he's trying over here. This you might you might uh, say this is how powerful these teams are, or a powerful ranking, or a ranking of powerfulness. So we're calling this the top four rankings of powerfulness in the NFL. See what we're doing here? <laughs> so it's not a power ranking. Not exactly. Not exactly. No, because other people do power rankings, but you're not doing. Just get to the rankings. Okay, I'll give you five through one, and you tell me if you agree. I, I thought it was a top four. Well, yeah, but you got to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to do number five. Okay, right? okay, but this is like college football, where the fifth ranked team is more interesting. The right? top four rankings, starting at five. <laughs> 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 That's essentially what was just laid out. Fritzy, you you watch that show all the time. How do they unveil it? Do they start with like number twenty? <laughs> they start at twenty five actually, and then well, we go, can't do twenty five. Five. We've only prepared okay, for all right. five. All right. How about five? Your Los Angeles Rams. So they're the team that's left out. They're the team that's left out of the final four right now. That's pretty high. That means... They're like Wisconsin. Okay. Yeah. They're very much Wisconsin. Number four, New Orleans Saints, who are ahead of the Rams. And Matt Jenkins from Stats Inc. helped me out. The Saints are fourth best in strength of victory in 2017. So I think the Saints get a little edge all over all those other teams. Number three, your Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, they would be higher... But why do they play down to everybody? This is a. They're still seven and two. Do they pass the eye test? I don't think they do yet. They're not quite passing that eye test. How about the smell test? Uh, Definitely not the smell test. All right, number two. Okay, number two. uh, Do you put this team or that? No, no, no. It should already be done. New England Patriots were the Alabama of this. Okay. Seven and two. Do you agree that they're ahead of the Steelers? That makes sense? And number one, of course, the Philadelphia Eagles, eight and one. They are number one in the ranking of powerfulness. Dan, will this top five, or sorry, four, or whatever it is, hold up throughout the rest of the season? I, I, this is a one and done here. We can't do this each week. The top four rankings of powerfulness starting at number five. Well done, McLevin. Well done. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.